Is your car acting strange, stalling, jerking, or burning too much fuel? You might be dealing with a faulty throttle position sensor. In this video, we're going to break down the most common symptoms of a bad TPS and why you shouldn't ignore them. Let's get into it. 1. Rough or unstable idle. One of the first signs of a bad throttle position sensor is a rough or unstable idle. When you re at a stop, you might notice the engine revs jumping up and down or dipping too low. Sometimes it feels like the engine is about to stall. This happens because the TPS isn't sending accurate data to the engine control unit, so the ACU can't adjust the fuel-air mixture properly. 2. Check engine light comes on. If your check engine light is glowing, your vehicle is trying to tell you something's wrong. A bad throttle position sensor is often the culprit. Common OBD trouble codes related to the TPS include PON 120, PON 121, PON 122, PON 123, or P2135. A quick scan with an OBD2. Scanner can confirm this, and many auto parts stores will scan it for free. Free. Hesitation or poor acceleration. Another key symptom is poor acceleration. You press the gas pedal but there's a hesitation, lag, or even a delay before the engine responds. The T-piece is supposed to tell the ECU how far the throttle is open. When it sends incorrect signals, the engine doesn't deliver power when you expect it to. In some cases, the vehicle may even feel underpowered or completely unresponsive. 4. Engine surging or jerking. A malfunctioning TPS can cause your engine to behave erratically. You might experience sudden surges in speed, especially when cruising or accelerating, or the car might jerk forward unpredictably. These jerky movements can be dangerous, especially in traffic or on the highway. 5. Increased fuel consumption. If your fuel economy has suddenly dropped and you're filling up more often than usual, the throttle position sensor might be to blame. Without accurate throttle input, the ECU can inject too much fuel into the engine, leading to excessive consumption and increased emissions. 6. Transmission shifting issues for automatics. In vehicles with automatic transmissions, a bad TPS can affect how and when the transmission shifts. You might notice harsh shifts, slipping, or the car getting stuck in a particular gear. The TPS plays a role in transmission timing, so when it goes bad, it can cause all kinds of drivability issues. 7. Engine stalling or no start. In more severe cases, your engine might stall at idle during acceleration or even while driving. And in worst-case scenarios, the car may not start at all. That's because the TPS helps regulate the throttle at startup. Without it, the engine might not get the right amount of air and fuel to start or stay running. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, don't wait. A bad throttle position sensor can lead to more serious engine problems and put your safety at risk. Thankfully. Replacing a TPS is often straightforward and affordable. Always scan your codes and get a professional diagnosis if you're unsure. Is your car idling rough, jerking or hesitating when you hit the gas? You might have a bad throttle position sensor. Here's how to fix it. Step 1. Confirm the issue. Plug in an OBD2 scanner and look for codes like PON 120 to PON 123. Watch for symptoms poor acceleration, stalling, or a check engine light. Step 2. Locate and test. Find the T-piece on the throttle body. Use a multimeter to check voltage on the signal wire. It should move smoothly from about 0. 5EV to 4. 5EV as you open the throttle. Step 3. Replace the sensor. Disconnect the battery. Unplug the TPS and remove the screws. Install the new one, align it properly, then reconnect everything. Step 4. Reset and test drive. Clear the codes, restart the car, and take it for a short drive. If the idle is smooth and acceleration feels normal, you're good to go. And that's it. Easy fix, smoother ride. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Below, if you've dealt with a bad TPS before, we've got more auto repair tips coming your way, so stay tuned.